Hey, Coach Kurt here with your daily dose of destiny. Welcome from the e-commerce business school. Been talking about parachuting this week on the daily dose of destiny. And I do have some news to report to you regarding uh, that. Um, let me share this with you. It was in the news today. Uh, three soldiers earlier, if you've been following Daily Dose of Destiny, right here in my hometown while I've been in the middle of this series comparing parachuting and making some business um, mindset analogies, um, uh, actually had an accident and three of them got injured in a parachute accident. One of them was released today and uh, two others are still in critical condition. I promised you I'd bring you that report and so I'll ask for your continued prayers and thoughts uh, for these uh, soldiers. Found out also as I read a little bit deeper that um, it's where the uh, army jump team stays for. It's their uh, winter um, base right here in Homestead at the Air Force Base. So that's it. So we wish them and their families and all of that uh, peace and health and healing and all of that to a quick recovery. So having said all that, as I've shared about my parachuting uh, adventure uh, some 40 years ago, um, all the preparation, um, all the training, all the fear that I went through jumping out of that plane the first time, um, the pain I had, uh, breaking my clavicle. It's the only time I've ever broken a bone in my life. And um, uh, then the, just the confusion, what went wrong and seeking out that input. I, I stayed in action though. And uh, again, I don't want to make light of parachuting. Uh, starting a business isn't as dangerous physically as um, parachuting, but it can be dangerous uh, emotionally. There's betrayal, there's disappointment, uh, you know, financial risk and all of that. So it's, it's risk in a different way. Um, and so, but what you do is you just stay in action and to get input like I did. What did I do wrong on that first jump? I got input and then I stayed in action and I didn't blame others. I took responsibility for not having the most successful jump, um, but I, I made four more and I got those wings that I started this series with. And there's a quote um, that I like that I put here in the box if you want to make a comment on it. It's a little bit lighthearted. Life in the 20th century, of course, 21st century now, but life in the 20th century is like a parachute jump. You have to get it right the first time. And that's so true. We went through two weeks of pretty intense training before they let us jump out of the airplane on our own without static line or any other support. We're out the door and on our own. Um, and, you know, business should be like that, too. So often people just say, well, I'm going to jump in and try that. Well, no, th there's risks. There's um, things that you need to know. It's a different, uh, you know, when I fell out of that airplane, I was really disoriented. I, I forgot to count. I told you that before. But it didn't even feel like falling. My expectations of it feeling like falling, it, it didn't feel like falling. It didn't even feel like floating. It was kind of, it was a strange experience, uh, even what you see, since you don't have a, um, a reference point of the horizon. Uh, there's, that was one of the reasons there's no sense of even falling, uh, very disoriented. And so as you're getting into the entrepreneurial world, trying either to start your business or take it to the next level, you're going to get into realms that you're going to be disoriented. And the more that you can prepare, you'll get it right the first time. The more that you can surround people that have been out that plane in that that way before the far more likely you're going to have success the more collective wisdom that you can glean and so if you'd like to to know more about the community that we provide that here um, it's the e-commerce business school you can go to www.joinebs.com and we'd be we'd love to have you right along you can check things out for free and once people get on the inside um, not to pat us ourselves on the back you can find it here uh, we don't know where else you can find it because we've had literally dozens if not hundreds of people tell us once I got in here there, there's nothing else like this out there uh, we've been told that over and over and over again doesn't mean there isn't but we're not aware of it where we have this empowering high-level professional ethical community that actually cares about you making it in business and so that's what we're here for that's what we want to do for you but whether it's here or somewhere else um, there there can be pain there can be fear, there can be disorientation, there can be confusion. And smart entrepreneurs, smart 
I guess, adventurous people, which entrepreneurs are, will mitigate that risk as much as possible. Obviously, the Air Force uh, thought they had mitigated as much risk as possible when I went out of that airplane the first time. Um, and, uh, you know, fortunately, none of my buddies, um, I think I might have been the worst. Uh, I, I didn't have any, there were no reports of any other serious injuries except for the jump instructor that broke his leg, obviously, before we started, but as far as my class. So they, so they did a good job, and I, I own that for not having the results uh, that the rest of my buddies did of having clean jumps without uh, a broken bone. So um, smart people mitigate that risk. They get into environments where they mitigate that risk, but there's still risk. And there's still fear and there's, there can still be disorientation. And the more that is, the more input you need, the more camaraderie you need, uh, the more encouragement you need to fulfill your goal. And that's why we started this. I wanted those jump wings. And, um, you know, I, that was my goal. Uh, whether it's vanity or whatever, you know, I, I set my mind to do something. And you know what, by George, I want to get it done and I'm going to go there. So that's the attitude. That's the mindset. I'm going to press through the pain. I'm going to press through the fear. I'm going to press through the disorientation. I'm going to press through the confusion. I'm going to get to the other side. It feels really funny being out of this plane of a safe, secure, nine-to-five uh, job, and I'm entering the entrepreneurial world. That was what I wanted to relate to you this week. There are lots of analogies, lots of insights you can glean from other experiences of mindsets to cultivate, to develop, so that you can become the successful entrepreneur that you want and have those mind shifts, have those uh, mental abilities trained to keep you going forward. And right in the middle of this was this uh, parachute accident. And um, you know, that made it a little bit more uh, sombering and less lighthearted, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, there, I'm sure there's reasons for that too. So um, this is Coach Kurt on behalf of everybody here at the Commerce Business School. Um, if you want to know more, learn more about who we are, what we do, uh, go to www.joinebs.com and have a great weekend. No, make it one. Coach Kurt, signing off.